you get out and got the, the close hole. the door and yeah it's gonna be great it's going to be so good she says loudly to herself mm -hmm. in this echoing mostly empty room yep. it is going to be so good ah! it'll be fine <gasps> And I like, I like turn around, like with my hands up, like I'm going to chop somebody. And you see William. <gasps> William. I'm Bill William. My name is William. I'm glad to see you. And I, you. I'd hoped that I might find you here. Are you, you going to leave soon? Yeah, probably tomorrow. Oh, and I go and I hug him. I just, I just you. like, is he shorter or taller than me? Oh, he's much shorter. I just sort of like lean over. I just like hug him. Oh, William, you're going to be gone in Richmond. Doing whatever you do. So far away. Circus stuff. Oh. Establishing ties with foreign dignitaries, you know. Oh, being a diplomat? Something like that. Well, I have something for you. What's that? Well, I made it for you during my my confinement, and I thought you might like it. And I pull out of my um my bag a uh, a little doll, a little doll that looks like him. Oh. And it's bendy. Oh. He's like very floppy. It's kind of like when you turned me small. And now you're small all the time. That's very cute. Yeah, it looks just like you. I'd say so. <laughs> Thank you, Adelaide. Mm -hmm. I will hang it from my dashboard. By the neck? No. Oh. <laughs> that would be morbid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sad to see you go. But I'll see you again in spring. Of course. I am glad that we were able to uh, sort out that whole oath of Motley before I left. That was a complication I was not looking forward to dealing with. Well, I guess now you're, you're free to free to do whatever you want. None of us are ever free to do what we want. Well, I mean, there is no, there is no oath utilizing the threads of fate to bind you to me. No, just all of the other oaths. In case I don't see you tomorrow, I wish you well, and I am eager to spread your story far and wide to whomever will hear it. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. You are a Thalane Slayer. I... And I know that you have mixed feelings on that subject. Very. But it will serve you well. I just don't want people to have the expectation of me that I'm... I'm... I'm a killer. I... I... I didn't want it to be like that. Well... Based off of the methodology you chose... I... The Thalane are still mysterious to us. Dangerous. I do not believe that your enemy is gone forever just gone for now and so yeah if nothing else you rooted one out and brought a brought an end to a situation that could have gotten a lot worse yeah and nobody was seriously hurt in the process save keelan that's not true he sort of uh, 
<laughs> it's sort it's of awkward. like it's like ooh yeah forgot about that um uh, well nobody no Kithane not to imply that one is more important than the other but the people I am talking to when I spread this story are very much in that set of belief and some of them might even recognize you what do you mean well you are you are not like most she there were very few autumn she as they are coming to be known as as you are coming to be known as not many at all most of their time during the interregnum was spent in hiding for fear that they would be killed by the commoners who resented them for ditching them. Yeah, I... There's a good chance that most of your time as a she was spent hiding until you did not have to anymore. So there's people who might remember me. There are those who might remember what you have done. And to be told that you have continued to serve in this way. He says slightly venomously. That you have continued to serve in the defense of the she and of these freeholds. They might be happy to hear that. And in turn, you may be rewarded in some form or fashion. Oh. Well. If you're gonna tell the story, I guess just make me sound... You're a good storyteller. I trust that you'll tell it in a flattering way. Only to those who will listen. Okay. I appreciate it. I appreciate you a lot. And I you. Oh, you're gonna make me cry, William! Oh, and I start crying like pretty she tears all over him. There, there, my lady. Oh, no. He just sort of like pats you on the back. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna gather these tears. Sort of <laughs> I might be up. able to use these for something. Just wipes them away. Oh, they're shiny. Yeah. <laughs> like little diamonds falling to the floor. <laughs> William. It's okay. In any case, when I come back, I expect this place to be looking different than it does now. Oh, yes, we, we're we just redecorating. Someone took the liberty of changing it, uh, and so I'm going to have to redecorate it. Make it yours. I will. Goodbye, Adelaide. Goodbye. And so he uh, turns and, and exits the freehold. Oh, my, my tears are in the sand. <laughs> I pick them they'd up. Be on the, they'd be on the, 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 the floor. The wooden floor. Oh, I just like pick them up. <laughs> oh, my little tears. What am I going to do with these? <laughs> go, go and dump them in the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no tears. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, as you exit the freehold, you can see that the sun is uh, beginning to set. Uh, now, because you are on the east coast, uh, the sun does not set dramatically uh, the sun does not set dramatically down the ocean uh, dra- down the horizon of the ocean that is where it rises and so uh, you, you there is a uh, almost like a shadow ca- being cast as it as the Goes sun starts the going behind the, uh, the little mountains up mm, there all my shadows are very long and they stretch out into the water yep uh, and uh, as you exit you also get a couple of texts all at once 
Do I not have service in there? <laughs> I look at my phone as uh, I'm getting my bike ready. Yeah, you, you get them. Uh, you get them. It's a. Uh, they're one of them's from Aiden. Uh, just says, "Hey, uh, your your bracelet off." I uh, respond to him. Yep, it's off, and I am free. Uh, Emoticon with the or emoji with the hands up. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, and. You've got a, another one from your dad uh, saying, "Hey, uh, uh, are, are you doing? Uh, what, what, what are you doing today?" Um, I'm gonna uh, out and about. Yeah, I'm gonna text him and say I'll be home in a minute. Okay. And uh, get on my bike and uh, spray sand everywhere as I make it home to go spend some time. Push your legs as hard as you can. Just Eventually give up and just run just it. And run then once it. I get onto <laughs> yeah. hard ground again on the boardwalk, I just... Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, you uh, you ride off and uh, and you, you, you eventually make it back home. And uh, as you're uh, pulling into your, your driveway, uh, you feel something. It's not the usual sort of chimerical blah that comes from the first floor of your house uh, it's just sort of like you almost feel like you're being watched I stop and I chain up my bike and I sort of look out into the uh, look out into the empty lots and trees and bushes of my neighbors uh, lawns and everything mm -hmm. And it's it's gotten it's pretty dark. Uh, it's pretty dark by the time you get home. The the there's still some pink to the sky, but because of the way that the uh, town is situated, uh, you're not getting any light mm -hmm. in in your area. Really, it's just mm -hmm. the 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 light from the sky, and that's yeah. it. Uh, the street lamps are probably going to turn yeah, on any minute. Street lamps are on, and uh, and and yeah, you just look around give me a give me a perception and alertness i get a perception and alertness or i'm sorry wit a wits and alertness or yeah wits or perception and do i keep you feel. nightmare dice no always? only only that's when you oh, yeah i know uh, that's that's v5 sorry Okay. So I have two threes and two eights. Okay. So uh, you 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 look out and you're not really you're not really seeing it for sure. It's just often it's just a feeling. Hmm. I like go and I go up to my front porch and I turn around and I turn on the light on my front porch and mm -hmm. I look back again. Nothing. In fact, now that the light's on on your front porch, it's even harder to see anything outside of that light. Hmm. How strange. I say aloud before actually going in and then like locking the door. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you as you turn into your kitchen, uh, you see uh, something kind of close the close the blinds out by the front of your out by the front of your uh, window, uh, and you see uh, standing there, just disgusting and horrid, is like this this ball of a creature with uh, with hands and uh, with arms, spindly little arms and legs and a, a big nose and it's just covered in long stringy hair and it looks at you and it goes ah! <gasps> what get, get, get out of here <laughs> and I open I open the door get out of here go on and I'm, I'm like rounding no. it. get out no you're you're not allowed in here. Get get out before you. you. I don't like it here. And she jumps off. Uh, she jumps off of the the counter and starts like running. And uh, she runs around the little island. Opens up a opens up a little uh, cupboard and hide and jumps in there. <gasps> what the, what the? And I I like reach and I get a meat tenderizer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that? And I and I go and I'm like very slowly. Open the cupboard. 
You open the cupboard and 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 nothing's there. <gasps> and when you saw when you saw her, she was like maybe like three feet tall. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's like three feet tall. Her face is gigantic. It is. She is a ball, and she just has a huge face. She has these bulging little eyes and this big nose and just these these sharp little teeth that, <laughs> that the ones that are there just like like. Uh, very very sharpened and dirty and gross and she she and and when you uh when you open up the thing you look around you don't see her get out of here ooh ooh what was that ooh and i start opening up all the cu- the cupboards you 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 come out here right this instant you 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 wretched boo hag you get, get out here i and- i <laughs> Saying loudly yeah. in my home while holding a mallet. You saw that your dad. You saw that your dad's car uh, wasn't here. His rental is 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 not is not there. Where are you? I open the oven, <laughs> and uh, you you hear you hear some skittering behind you. Uh, just uh, and and as you turn, uh, you see you see that she she ran out of the the. Uh, she ran out of the cupboard that you had opened first and is running over into another into another little uh little under space like the the area under your sink oh no uh, i i make attempts to to catch the to to catch the wretched little boo hag <laughs> <laughs> and so uh yeah go ahead and give me uh let's uh let's see if you can chase her down give me a uh, dex and athletics <laughs> Oh god. Roll for her. God, that's so funny. Uh, one's takeaway in this uh one's takeaway. Uh nothing. I I don't catch shit. <laughs> she's too she's too wily. Did you botch? Um No. No. Cuz I think I would have to get one more one. We're looking at 6. And no, it would be it would be uh if you get a one without any successes. Okay. And so if you no. get one success, you're 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 square. Uh she also did not get any successes. So and we so, are together you in both incompetently uh, fumbling around fumbling my kitchen around. and and she's like rumbling uh rummaging through your pots and pans just Ooh. i gotta get a, a pot to, i like grab a pot to try to catch her <laughs> get out of here get out of here like i'm on i i climb onto the um the island and uh yeah you climb onto the island and you can kind of see her see her uh moving in and out like serpentine between the the <laughs> area under your sink and like outside she's weaving in and out and she starts running over to the to the living room area and she jumps up and climbs up onto the back of the couch and says you i put a hex on you you better not put a hex on me you you little boo hag I, your eyes will rot from your skull, and your your tongue will burst into flames. <gasps> you you take that back, and I throw the mallet at her. <laughs> uh, that's a uh, strength and athletics, I believe. Oh wait! One success. Uh, go ahead and roll. Uh, roll mallet. B. It'd be, yeah, uh, go ahead and roll strength plus one for the mallet. Two, nine, ten. Okay. I'll roll her socums. Actually, no. Uh, it, it... I hit her with something non-chimerical. Yeah. It, it's gonna, it, it goes right through her, flies just... into the TV. <laughs> the TV breaks. Just... <gasps> <laughs> oh, you little! And she jumps off the couch, uh, and then uh, starts starts running upstairs. Oh no, you don't! I just run after her. Yeah, you uh, you chase after her, and you make it up into your little foyer, and she's she's sitting there like, <laughs> "What do you I want like it up here? What do you want? What do you want from me? What do I want?" Hmm. This world is strange. You have... You have... Big, beautiful opening. Big, beautiful entrance. Nice room. Cozy bed. And then I go down the stairs. And it is terrible. 
cold, sick. Uh, you need to go outside. You can't live here. I do not wish to live here. I banish you. No. I banish you. No. I command you to leave. You have Sovereign? No, hell no. I don't have, <laughs> I don't have Sovereign. Well, uh, go ahead and roll Intimidate and uh, and uh, Manipulation. Huh? Yeah. Is that a higher difficulty because you do not have, uh, yeah, I don't have the intimidate. requisite skill, so uh, it would be pl added two to that difficulty. So you got one success, and she goes, ah! she she sort of bears her fangs <gasps> at you, and then runs over into your room. No, you better not. And so uh, you you chase her over, and you get into the room, and you can see her crawling under your bed. No, you better not. Ah! I try to, I like dive under <laughs> to try to like grab her. Dex and athletics <laughs> to see if you could pull that off real quick. Oh my god, this is hilarious. <laughs> Contest. Six and eight. Is that two successes? Yes. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, she, you, you, you jump out and you, you, you land square enough to grab her by the ankle, and she sort of like scratches you with her other <laughs> foot uh, that has these long, gangly toenails uh, that that scratch against you, causing you to relinquish hold. Uh, <laughs> And uh, and she she just crawls in and then disappears. No! How did that thing get in here? Oh my god! The TV. I can I fix this. I run out and I see the TV. And I take a couple breaths and I and I hide it in the garage. <laughs> you, you're, you're gonna hide the TV? Yeah. All right. That's gonna take you some time. It's it's not a small TV. No, I know it's not. It's like a it's like a sixty inch TV. Yeah, I know. Uh, is it wall mounted? Uh, it's not wall mounted. Thank God. It is, I... it is hooked to an entertainment center. Don't worry, I will just unhook uh, it and, and so I will take it away and hide it. Pick it up, and uh, it's going to be uh, strength and athletics to to see if you can get it out there and how quick you can do it. Ah, two successes. Okay. Oh, just put it there. And I'll say, and I'll make something up. As you're uh, as you're stepping out from uh, the heck? garage, uh, you hear the the key opening the uh, the front door. You can hear uh, Louis and your father sort of uh, talking on the outside, uh, and then the door opens. Oh, hey, Adi. Hi. Where you? Yeah. Uh, where you? You guys have uh, fun? Y yeah. Oh, uh, what you do? Oh. Uh, uh, Papa and I went. I, I say, sweating a little bit. <laughs> uh, Papa and I went to. Uh, uh, we we went to go get some food. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. He didn't really feel like cooking. Uh, and uh, there's like pots and pans everywhere. All the all of the like you, uh, cabinets are open. Are you looking for something? Oh uh, yeah, I Maybe? was. Uh, I yeah, I found um. Uh, were, were, I was looking for a... Were you going to cook anything? Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna make a little snack. Looks around. <laughs> With every utensil we own? I was looking for one in particular. Ah, uh, okay. I just, I just couldn't find our nutcracker. You know, the, the, wal the, wal the walnut cracker. Oh. I, I, sneaky thing. <laughs> Eventually, I just, like, look very blankly into the distance. Okay. Uh -oh. uh, and then uh, your, your dad starts, like, looking around. Are, are you okay? Oh, yeah. I'm just sweating because I'm hungry. But don't worry. I was just going to eat. I opened up the fridge. Some... Cheese cubes. Close the fridge. Mmm. Oh wow. I start putting them in my mouth so I can't answer them when they ask you, any questions. You needed the the nutcracker for mm. cheese cubes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. I hold up a finger while I while I chew. 
um, because there's nothing more satisfying and delicious than a meal of cheese and nuts. Fair, fair. Uh, and he sort of looks around. And he sort of, like, looks at your dad, like, like, he he raises his eyebrows <laughs> in, a, in a, see, this is what I'm talking about sort of thing. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> your dad's just like, oh, okay, okay, well, yeah. uh, I, I, I'm going to go to bed. Oh, okay. Uh, I love you I, so much. I love you too. Oh, you are just so beloved. Oh, my sweet baby. I know. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, your dad goes over to the guest room and goes to bed. I say, as soon as he walks away, I just like holding the cheese, looking kind of haunted. Louis, so. I take some cheese and start putting it into my mouth. Mm hmm. How was your day? Mm hmm. I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. <coughs> a lot of cheese. Uh, Are you okay to eat that much cheese? Oh, cheese. You've eaten almost that entire bag. Oh, well, I... It's because I... It's because I'm, I'm quite the cheese fiend. Um, I spend my day on the beach uh, cleaning. Oh yeah, you, and you I got found... your bracelet taken off today, or yeah. your your uh, anklet. Mm -hmm. And I found this, and I reach into my bag and flash the crystal Pepsi. Oh no, that is horrible! What did they? What? What is that? Real crystal Pepsi. What? Real crystal Pepsi. Uh, I found it on the beach. It's not very good. I have not. You drank random drink you found on the beach? It was fresh. When I opened it, there was still carbonation in there. I'm... I'm... What... What is Crystal Pepsi? Crystal Pepsi? Oh, wait. Oh, you don't know about Crystal Pepsi. See, I don't even really know about Crystal Pepsi. It's a legendary drink from the 80s and early 90s. Oh. Yes. Long since discontinued, because nobody really wanted it. But here... The beach gave this to me as a and gift. You, and you drank. Wait, it's it's that old, and you drank it. And I took a little sip. Adelaide, that it was sealed. You're going to get an infection or something. That is, you can't just drink the things that you find on the beach it or was, eat the things it was, that it was you know better than this. I I I mean yes, I do. Uh, but I mean it was. I, I mean if I opened it and it was like bad, I wouldn't have sipped it. But it was uh, 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 it was fresh, which is so weird. Cause where did it come from? What is the expiration date on that? Oh wow. Uh, you know, yeah. uh, it's it's pretty old. But to be fair, uh, maybe the ocean preserved it. I like to imagine that it's a gift from the ocean, <sighs> like it's giving back to me. He you just know? sort of he just sort of sighs and like like rubs his head as he turns around. He stops. Puts his hand down. Hey, Adelaide. Yeah. I start reaching for the cheese again. Where is my TV? Okay, well we're gonna can we talk about that later? As opposed to now? Is there going to be a, a, a better answer later? What what happened? Um, there was if, an... if something if, if an accident happens, that's I mean, I... that's, that's fine. Accidents happen. I mean, there... What? I mean, there was a there was a small accident. Okay, and he but he's don't sort of don't worry about it. There. Don't worry about it. What? I'll fix it. What is what? Why he he leans over and picks up the the meat tenderizer? There was an accident, but I... How? Um... It's... Uh... Gosh darn. Um... She's, like, sweating. Like, trying. She's such a bad fucking liar. I... Um... It... It... 
it slipped, but I'm going to fix it, and I'll Amazon Prime one over immediately. I, I mean, accidents happen. It's not that big a deal. I mean, it was a pretty bad accident. I, I just want to know how. Like at this point, I'm kind of impressed. Oh, I. It was just I. There I just a, want to know how you, there was you a, broke the there was television a, with uh, the meat tenderizer. I... I can't... I can't... Uh, uh, I'm going to fix it. Adelaide, I'm not even that mad. I wanted a new TV anyway. Okay, well, you're going to get a new TV. Oh, I'm going to get you a new TV. I'm just so sorry. No, I just want I just, to know. I, there was a... Th there was a thi what? A what? I accidentally tossed it. And I tossed it too hard. While... While... While going through the kitchen. Looking for stuff. And I accidentally, um, and it, it's, this is most speaking, he's not going to buy any of this. Like, the delivery is, mm -hmm. is bad. Like, I won't even try to roll yeah. to lie. Yeah, yeah. There's, he's beautiful he's, subterfuge. He, I am like glass. Well, you got, you got three dots of manipulation. You might be able I to pull it off. I might be able to, but, uh, I, while going through everything and it's just, I got, I got spooked. And it slipped out of my hand, and I'm stronger than I thought. Definitely. What, what spooked you? This was just I. I just got I just got spooked because I thought, and I start thinking back to the type of things that I used to do, and like for a moment, it just like hits me that this is the kind of shit that I used to do when I was unreasonably afraid of everything. Mm -hmm. I was... I just thought there might have been something in the house and it spooked me. And so there's a question. You are a she of House Fiona. It's a lie. You nothing fear spooks me. nothing. Yeah? Save something that might hurt your family. It's a lie. And so... Because I'm... I take that lie directly from yeah. my past. Yeah. When I used to do... When I used to behave in a weird manner, and I was like, no, I was scared. Which okay. was true, because I had pretty bad anxiety. Okay. And so it's a, it's like a carbon copy lie of mm -hmm. something that I've done before. Okay, so roll, roll subterfuge manipulation to see how well you reconstruct that lie from memory. One success. Okay. And it... spooked me and I it was it was an accident I'm I'm so sorry I I'm I thought I was over this um it won't happen I can't promise it won't happen again but I don't I'm very sorry Adelaide are you seeing things um I mean, I don't, I don't think I saw anything, but it was just... Did you it, hear anything? Yeah, yes. And it just start. it might have been the neighbors, there are, are no neighbors right now. It might have been the neighbors, or something, uh, maybe, and I'm just, I'm, should, I'm very embarrassed right now. Okay, sh okay. Uh, should, should we go see a... A doctor? Or no, anything? no, Is it no. Anything like that? It's not like it's not. It's not bad. It it just it just got me. I destroyed my TV. It it was it wasn't like a, a purposeful sort of and, thing. And I, I know, I know, it, it was an accident. I understand. I'm like Believe backing. Me. I'm like backing away. Believe me, mm -hmm. I understand. I, I I understand. It it's an accident. These things happen. Sometimes you hear things or see things. That, yeah. That that aren't there. Yeah. It's, it's it's okay. Okay. I, I was I... I was your age when it happened to me. It it. What? Adelaide, you you can't you can't not know. I'm... I mean, I I knew that. 
I mean, I it starts mm. as hearing things, and 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 you know, it, it it got worse over the years, and and I it had to it had to to I just had to get. It's it's not like that. It, it, why wouldn't it be? It, it runs in our family. It's just it runs and, and in, it, it runs and you in can our... help. It's something that you can you can prevent. I you can talk to Papa about it. Mama was crazy. I mean, she was, but I think that's different. Why would that be different? I don't know. I she was she just uh, not look. I, I'm not. Believe me, I'm not coming from a place of judging in this situation. I, I just, it's, if if you saw something and you reacted that strongly as to throw a a, a meat tenderizer halfway across the room, mm. destroying my TV in the process. Ah. Uh. I, I look. I'm not. I, I don't even care about the TV anymore. I, I really don't. I, I, I just... I, I'm, I'm okay. Adelaide, will you tell me if you're not okay? Uh, I... I... I want to. Why... Why wouldn't you? You just... Just... You... you I, I mean, please do. I, I... 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 Believe me, if anyone understands, I understand. So you've always, like, seen stuff, but, like, no one else saw it. And not always, but it they it started uh, f a few uh, about more, probably around the time I was your age. I was graduating college. I was uh, moving out on my own, and and you know, um, I or at at the time I thought this, that maybe uh, the stress of looking for work was was causing me to hallucinate. But yeah, I did some digging, and we have. We have a family history of, uh... Schizophrenia. Yeah. And, like, I just feel, like, dread. Him saying that fills me with real, genuine dread. I... If something was wrong, I'd tell you. But it might take me a bit because I might feel embarrassed or concerned, but it, and I'm just like, she's like sitting there and she actually has to like take a seat. Did you, did anyone else see the same stuff you were seeing or was it just you? No, it was, it was just me. It was all in my head. What kind of things though? What oh, kind of stuff were you seeing? Oh gosh, it was never very consistent. It was, you know, I hear a noise, uh, uh, hear a noise in another room that nothing could have made the sound of. Uh, maybe uh, occasionally uh, I, I hear someone call my name, uh, but nobody's there. Uh, maybe. Uh, even indistinct whispering, a little bit of that. Uh, can't tell what they're saying, but I hear it just for a second, and then I, I look around, and it's usually gone after that. Uh, I, um, when, when I see things, it, they don't last very long. It's just a quick little... Like, very brief. Very brief. Wake up, out of the peripheral vision, I, I see something, and <laughs> it's gone. But uh, no, it's 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 just it's just part of the illness. It took me a long time to accept that. But I, I there's treatments that have worked very I mean, good for me hmm. uh, over the years, and and you know if that's something that you no, I I I I don't think I need that. Well, I what I'm worried about is this time it was the TV. <clears throat> What if I had been home? Or what if Papa would have been home? You know. I, 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 I understand that you just don't want anyone else to get caught up in it, but it was just... It was just... If it gets worse, I'll tell you? Alright. Okay. 
All right. I'll uh, say I'll say something, but it's not bad. It's not none. I I none of it's it's not it's not like that. I I need to go upstairs, Louis. Uh, okay. I'm gonna fix your TV, and I just need to go and I I need to go upstairs, and I very okay. uncharacteristic uncharacteristically just sort of like leave. Just I just cut off okay. emotionally. I'm okay. just like okay, I'm done. All right. So, uh, Louis, yeah, as an autumn person, is going to use one of his. Uh, st- uh, stigmas against you. Yep. Rationalization. Yep. One of the greatest strengths of the autumn people is the ability to rationalize even the most fantastic occurrences to tricks of the light, shifting shadows, or sleight of hand. This is not an ability that requires focus or thought. Disbelief in the wondrous is ingrained so deeply that such rationalization simply occurs when confronted by something beyond explanation. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, no, that would be against a cantrip. So. Yeah, they can cancel cantrips. I can cancel your cantrip. He'd be able to cancel your cantrip. Yeah, it means nothing to him. Let's let's go with numb. Okay. Uh, Some autumn people are so relentlessly dull, conversing with them deadens emotions, driving victims to apathy and ennui. Uh, Dreamers and changelings alike come away from these encounters drained of energy and disconnected from the world around them. Smart changelings try to escape from conversations immediately, but some are not so lucky and may be trapped for Perfect. longer than is safe. This effect rarely lasts longer than a few hours, but the damage it causes may remain for days or weeks. So, uh, for every minute he can keep her target talking, the storyteller rolls the autumn person's banality, resisted by her target's glamour. So, okay. I'd say that was about a five minute, five minute conversation. So roll it five so we're times. Roll it five times. His banality versus your glamour. Current or total? Let, let me Does see. Does it say? Um, each success achieved drown, uh, drains out. Okay. So, uh, it would be, I believe this is going to be based off of your total. Total. Okay, yeah. so five. So it would be five. All right, first one. Two successes. Three successes. All right, he got so the first he got, one. He got one. For every success he gets, it's what you lose one willpower. It's like a temporary one. I'll yeah, put, a temporary willpower. I'll put like a like yeah, one like you'd normally. All right. Do. Two. Three. You gave me that time. Four. Oh. Lose one. He's about to pass out. One, two, three. One, two. Alright. One more. Two more. Or two more. One, two, three. Another three. Uh Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Oy vey. Oh, he's powerful. Five. One more and Addy's gonna have a tough night. Well, not as bad as if you go past that. Two. Oh my god. Five. Holy so, shit. So, Addy your willpower is, is drained. Depleted. So, and for every point after that, one banality. Oh shit. Yeah, that's it. That's good. I love that. (laughs) That was a horrible conversation. She goes upstairs and just... Let me look at the banality system real quick. Okay. Because... Because uh, we need to know exactly what we're looking at in terms of how banality is filled and tracked. We you do it down here first. Right. Every time right. you get one of these, is it every time you get ten or every time you max out on your current points? So you go here, and once this is filled, okay. you fill in the next one. Okay. So go ahead and fill in two more, two more temporary banality. Why? Be- because those were the excess successes he got on. 
Oh, the XX yeah. successes each day. After after the uh, after your willpower is drained, mm -hmm. every success he gets after that drains your willpower. Well, we stopped right at. We stopped at five, so you you had one left. He got three six. He got he got five successes to your two. That gives him a net of three. Mm -hmm. You mark one for the willpower and then two for the banality. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah. And so. Yeah, no, that. He. The hard realization is devastating. Yeah. That admission. That your brother struggles has struggled with mental illness or or even worse might be like enchanted might be undone yeah um and so she but if he was undone nobody has told you yeah nobody i might be able to check but god the knowledge yeah the knowledge is yeah so painful the thought that he thinks it's inherited mm -hmm. because now I have knowledge that something is inherited it's being a changeling yeah and he thinks and you don't know if it's one or the other yeah for him I couldn't I you don't know. know enough about your mother to really say one way or the no. other you just know I have that weird memories of her that don't make a lot of sense yeah. you just know that she is she is she was taken by a she yeah at some point but you don't know who she was before that no i was she was gone by the time was, i was born yeah. and so there's this sort of just sadness so, this yeah, emptiness one or the other and and both are bad yeah that this sort it's like a weird family yeah. tragedy yeah and so yeah you go upstairs and you are yeah. Fucked up. Yeah, I am not okay. Just I I start drained. I am crying. I'm just so tired. I don't even undress. I'm just mm -hmm. so tired. Yeah. Uh, I just lay down, just crying. I just cry until I'm asleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if he hears that downstairs, that doesn't help my case. Mm -hmm. Because he's slowly building he's a case. Just, he's just Ugh, like it's happening to her. Oh my god. This is it. This, this it makes, happened to mom. Makes sense. Mom, mom's nuts. Dad is weird. Mom's nuts. I, dad, dad has. Dad seems fine now. He seems okay. He's probably these he's probably, days. He's probably medicating very well, <laughs> uh, just like I am. Just like I am. And, and or was, uh, you know. I fell off so, the bandwagon. Fell off the wagon a little bit over the past few weeks, but you, you know, know, a lot of shit's been happening. I had a girlfriend now, convince me I didn't need to. Now it's Adelaide, and so yeah. It and was. so he's, uh, you know, he's he's building the case downstairs. Yeah. And poor thing. Yeah. yeah. And Even though it's a tragedy for me upstairs, I can still think of how sad that must be from his perspective. Mm -hmm. That from the perspective of someone who has been, like, from the perspective of someone who is caring for a family member, and who already is sort of suffering through stuff. He's probably just crossing his fingers that, like, it wouldn't get bad. And that I was getting better as I was getting older. Mm -hmm. And how maybe I'll be the exception. And I won't have to suffer like how he suffers. And yeah. then he's like, no. God, God, no. She, she was... saw something that that's frightened her enough that she threw a hammer across the room and destroyed a TV. Yeah. And so for him, all of my weird behavior... Yeah. Or at least I imagine he thought. Some of it. Some of it. Some of it he can just say, okay, well, that's weird. I mean, he's probably happy to see about a year and a half ago that I came out of my shell and that I sort of let go of a lot of anxiety and fear that had been holding me back. He was probably like, yeah, yeah, yeah look at her. She's, she's going out. And, and now it's just like, it's oh. like a regression and it is terrifying. Yep. And that is so good. <laughs> yep. And so, uh, you, you, you know, you cry yourself to sleep and, uh, get ready for sleep. <laughs> Oh, 